celebrate Halloween. Some believe it can be taken back like other holidays, but a former Satanist who is now a pastor says, no, Christians should not celebrate it. I recently caught it with John Ramirez and he had a strong warning for believers. Tell us a little bit about where you were in relation to Satanism and worshiping the devil. Well, at 25 years, uh, eight years old, boy, little boy, eight years old, demon church, to learn being trained by high ranked devil worship with warlock and spiritual witches, training me to uh, know how to take over territory, demon demonic contract, demon different demon territory, demons, principalities, first, second heaven. I was being trained all the way to the age of 35, sold my soul to the devil, got married in Halloween, had a demonic wedding in Halloween. I baptized my daughter to the dark side at the age of 11. So that was my whole entire life. I mean, I, I breathed, ate, and slept witchcraft. Astral projecting, I will astral project over the region, leave my body, astral project, curse the region, because if I can curse the region, I can capture the people. Knowing what you came from and what you used to do, you're pretty, um discouraged that you see Christians celebrating Halloween. Why? I, 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 I don't know how you can cheat on God. I don't know how you can cheat on the Lord Jesus Christ because I don't see Satan as coming on Good Friday and coming and hanging out with us, right? You know, I come out in Halloween and had a demonic wedding. Why would you put your kids, your family, why would you put your purpose, your destiny, why would you put your whole eternity in a demonic altar? But people say, it's just fun, candy, kids are having costumes on. Well, what you said is much more. It, 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 the candy, you know, I, 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 shared, I, I never shared this before, but this candy, people from different walks of life pray over these candies. Witchcraft, they pray over the candies. You knock on people go, you don't know, the person that you knock on knows she's a witch. Okay, you don't know she's a witch, she's doing Wicca, she's practicing New Age, and you knock on the door and you come in you come in, in legal rights of this witch or this wall or this person's practicing this stuff, giving you this kind of candy. Now you're taking that stuff home, you put that stuff into your body. Mm -hmm. Amen. And on top of that, in, 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 in top of that, I'm Tom Levain said. Out of his mouth, you know he he, he used to he was, he was the ruler of the church of Satan, mm -hmm. right? Out of his mouth, he said, I want to thank every Christian parent for allowing their child to celebrate Halloween one time a year, the devil's holiday. And he took Adam and Eve to lose everything because of one mistake. Mm. He took Esau, one, one circumstance, to lose his birthrights, yeah. right? Yeah. So why would, you, why would you bring that kind of curse into your house and curse your family from three to four generations? So when your kids is five and you think it's cool, you dress them up. Once you put a costume on someone, see the, the, the trick of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, they were made in the image of God. They were made in God's perfect image, right? The devil tricked them with sin and changed their identity. Yeah. And once you put the costume on the kid, I don't care if you dress them up as Noah. I don't care if you dress them up as Abraham. Once you put this costume on Halloween, the, the birthright of Halloween, you're changing your kid's identity. The purpose of the destiny has been canceled. Unless you renounce it and bring it back. That is the trick of the devil. Now, now that you're sharing, and you share this everywhere you go. Everywhere you, I go, you, I'm not afraid. I mean, I'm not, poli I'm not politically correct. I'd rather be right with God. You'd be mad with me, but at least you'll make heaven. Yes. You know, I mean, churches sometimes they get mad. They get mad with me. They get, oh, why are you saying that? Why are you talking that way? What, what, how should I talk? If I, I, my, God told me to speak the truth. You know, I'm just a mailman. Amen. Now that you are a Christian, you are actually a minister of the gospel now. Amen, yes. Um, you said that you're now in a season where in your life where you're saying, I want to pay the enemy back for all the darkness. Oh, every, about 25 it. years and plus. You know, I, I, I've gone to places that people manifest, the manifestations of demons, people casting out demons, healing, healing the people. I mean, I'm living in a place today at the church of the Book of Acts. The powerful church, that Amen. church that came out of the upper room. Amen. You know, that's where I'm living. People saying, "Sir, I was just talking to another sister. I was saying, this Muslim lady came up to the altar. She had four stage cancer. She is a Muslim. She renounced Islam. She renounced uh, the situation. She accepted Jesus. She went to the doctor. No trace of cancer. That's the God that I know. That is the Jesus Christ I know. He's the same. I, the same yesterday, today, and forever and more. Forever. There's people that have come from the occult practices. You know, I've been in the occult. I did Ouija board. I did this. I, I, uh, I, I, I did. Uh, I, I, I practiced. Wicker, I practice new age, you know, manifestation, people set free. And you see the transformation in their face. You see the love of Jesus Christ wrap around them. I mean, how much, that is priceless. I don't mind paying the price. I'm going to do that until God call me home. And when I leave, my sister, listen to me carefully. When I leave this world, I'll make Jesus Christ proud. Amen. And heaven will rejoice. Hell will rejoice because I left the battlefield.